Hi from Tokyo. This is Michelle Nagisa. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Today I'm going to do a pour with a bunch of browns.、Um, I'm hoping for like a yummy chocolatey painting, and I'm also using gold and copper. They're very thin paints. This is a shuttle art brown. Um, this is what I could get on Amazon in Tokyo. I'm quite limited with what I can get comparatively to everybody in Europe and Australia and the US, but、um, we'll just give it a go with what I've got. That is an Amsterdam copper and an Amsterdam light gold. And this is the brand Shuttle Art that I'm using for the brown. For the base coat, this is a bit of a disaster. I ended up trying this.、Um, Poster paint for the white base, which I've tried before and it's caused me issues. and I don't know why, but I decided to try it again. But you'll see at the end what happens.、Um, I'm using this little stand, which I find quite good for these small canvases. And here we go with layering the paint. So I'll let you watch this now and be quiet for a while. So, after a bit of torching for air bubbles, here I go with the poster paint. Now, yeah, this poster paint really did not like my other paint. So, this is a little bit of a disaster.、Um, however, the actual painting itself, the inside, ended up looking really nice, I thought, anyway.、And、the whole process was kind of yummy with these chocolatey colors. I love chocolate. <laughs> That's why I wanted to use these colors. So、um, I'll let you carry on watching.
So I'm really liking this at this point. I'm particularly, I can't say the word properly, I'm particularly into the white thin stripes, the thin lines or squiggles, which I got from the bottom of the cup. Um, yeah, it, it's uh, saying that I'm kind of getting rid of a whole bunch here as it slides across, but um, I do like that effect. So it's quite a busy design but I'm liking this however I've started to spot in the corners that something is strange happening um, which is due to that poster paint that I used before you'll see this shortly um, and yeah it's not what I wanted but hey it was an experiment and um, it was actually really therapeutic just to be um, pouring the paint and swishing it around like this. Can you see what I mean now by the edges? Slowly these sort of weird corroded looking things are appearing on the side. And a few more minutes in you can see this even more. So here we go. See what happened? <gasps> really weird it looks kind of antique -y, but um the middle is i love the middle it's amazing i think what i'll do is when i dry it i will cut the middle out and maybe fla fra flame it frame it into something um but the sides are screwed up for sure with this this uh poster paint so i will not be using that again i think it's like the third time i tried it with different mediums and things and um, different combinations but but look at how yummy the actual if I don't keep focusing on that bit looking at the positive the central bit really nice really nice colors very warm very chocolatey yeah um, yeah just a final view of that um, I don't know if I actually if you want to get an old kind of rusty effect there you go use a poster paint um, you can see at the bottom there how it's kind of curdled. It really didn't like it. But, you know, I'm still posting this because it just shows, um, well, maybe someone can learn from my mistakes. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye.